So with Devin Haney relinquishing the remaining three 135-pound titles, that kind of breathes a breath of fresh air into the uh, lightweight division because now you're going to have dudes really competing for the rest of those belts. Uh, so the only champion so far now, technically at 135, is Shakur Stevenson. All right, he just won the belt, the faking belt that was Devin's off of. Uh, he he won it fighting Abel De Los Santos in what people deem is a controversial fight, you know, because of the lackluster performance by Shakur Stevenson. But nonetheless, he is the WBC lightweight champion of the world. So that leaves the other three straps, and I think the ring belt too. One question that comes to mind is Javante Tank Davis. Uh, you know, there's word that Tank is interested in fighting Devin. And I'm just like, why now? You know, Devin was at 135. He wasn't he wasn't really saying all of this stuff. Now Devin's at another weight class. Now Tank is now he's looking at Devin. And then plus Devin is lining up a fight with Regis already. So it's just a bunch of smoke and mirrors, man. But he Tank himself said he had a hit list. Remember that? Remember he said he had Devin Haney on that list, Lomachenko, and I think it was Sha and Shakur Stevenson. Yeah. So Shakur Stevenson is still at 135. In fact, he just got to the division. He's two fights in. Tank's been there. Shakur's there now. He's the champion. After Shakur's performance against De Los Santos, I believe Davis said he is no longer interested in fighting uh, Shakur. Now, what that tells me is, it tells me everything I've been saying for all this time about Tank. He's not interested in legacy, which is chasing the belts. He's interested in a prize fight. That is why, if he is, is if he even really is interested in fighting Dev, he looks at Dev as more of a of a money maker than he does Shakur, which is right. You know, definitely Shakur, uh, Dev is definitely more accomplished more established but he's not in his division man now he doesn't have the belts so the fight with Devin it'll be just pretty much star a star power fight man so it's not gonna be worth nothing if he doesn't take the Devin fight at 140 which he said he didn't want to go back up there he didn't feel comfortable at 140 this is what Tank said and I remember Leonard Smellerby said the same thing too if Devin beats Regis he's a WBC champ so we'll be looking at two WBC champions that Tank Davis said was on his hit list. One is in his division and one would be at 140 pounds. Likely, he'll make Dev fight at a catch weight so that belt won't be on the line because remember, he don't care about the belts. He cares about the money. Shakur Stevenson's a different story, man. He's in his division. He's the champ now. I don't care how he looked in his last fight. Fight him now. Line that up. Reach out to Shakur. Shouldn't that be an easy win for Tank? Shin Tank, Tank has the skill set, right? He got the skills to cut him off and beat him up and take his WBC belt. And then Tank will finally, after years, be a real champion at a division. Not at 130, at 135, okay? Let's let's see it. Let's make it happen. Who else there for Tank to fight? Shakur's a belt holder right now. So his stock just went up just a little bit. Before the belts, his stock was meh. He lost. I mean, he looked funny in that fight, but he's still the champion. He has a belt. That even though you not chasing them, even though Tank ain't chasing belts, that belt still equates to some kind of monetary value for Shakur Stevenson. So go after the bag. Who else at 135 is gonna bring the money that Shakur might bring, even though it's not as much as a Devin Haney, man? Who else? None of the rest of the dudes have belts. None of, the, none of the other dudes really there have any names yet. So it makes a lot of sense right now for Tank to fight Shakur right now. Shakur ain't got no fight lined up. We don't know what Tank is doing. It's supposed to be an Isak Cruz rematch. I don't know. Okay. If that's the case, if that's already lined up, if you already signed and everything, fight Isak Cruz and then step to Shakur Stevenson. If Shakur Stevenson should probably take a tune-up. If I would advise him to do that, take a tune-up, man, with a dude with some power and see what happens. Ryan Garcia is about to fight Duarte. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen in that fight. Ryan could possibly lose that fight. 
But more people leading towards Ryan's going to knock uh, Oscar Dar uh, Duarte out. That would be a good thing for Shakur. Take the Ryan Garcia fight. That'll, that'll raise his, stake, his stock a little bit if he wins that fight. Now Tank can't really complain about, oh, well, Shakur ain't worth the money no more. And, well, he just beat Ryan. Uh, he has a WBC belt. What's the excuse, brother? I want to get y'all guys come. Uh, uh, I want to get y'all guys prediction, man. Will Javante Tate Davis finally fight Shakur Stevenson now? Because now the other three belts is out, is released now. My, my my prediction, more than likely, he's probably going to try to avoid Shakur Stevenson. If he does fight him, I'll be surprised. Uh, he'll probably try to avoid Shakur. And uh, I got to look at the rankings for the other belts, man. Um, it might be a Jermaine Ortiz or... or um, I don't even see Tank fighting Ray Muratala. That would be a nice scrap for Tank, right? But who else is it, man? Who else is there? Tank will probably end up fighting. If Shakur ain't going to line it up with nobody for one of the mother straps, Tank is going to probably fight for one of the mother belts uh, against somebody else, man, and, and not Shakur. But my thing is this, man. If Tank fights somebody else for one of the other straps and he becomes a champ, are, is he going to go after the other belts? If so, why you? if, if the belts don't matter, why are you going to fight lesser competition for those belts and not fight Shakur for his belt? Make it make sense. I have no idea, but we'll see, man. All of this stuff had to happen for a reason, man. Devin Haney releasing them belts just um, it's going to put a lot of people's backs against the wall at 135. Let me just say that. We'll see. Anyway, this is Rebel Life Boxing. Let me know what you think. I'll catch y'all later on the next one.